Now at 5.30, a bike lane controversy brewing in Cambridge. Two deadly accidents prompted city leaders to expand the number of bright green lanes. But some of the lanes replaced parking spots, including spots for the disabled. There are now more than 25 miles of bike lanes across the city in areas like Brattle Street in Harvard Square. But as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us, some business owners say the lanes are taking a real bite out of their bottom line. It's no secret that bikers and drivers have a very well close relationship when it comes to sharing the road. I think biking's great. It's good for the environment. Um, sometimes it's a little bit scary when you're a driver. I don't like bike lanes because, you know, if I open the door, I can hit the bike lane. The city of Cambridge has invested a lot of time, money, and attention on increasing the number of bike lanes over the past few years, helping bikers like Mike and his therapy dog feel safer. With the bike lanes, I feel mostly very safe. During rush hour, anything goes. It's very dangerous. In the last 10 months, the city of Cambridge has added 1.1 miles of bike lanes, but it's come with some controversy, especially for some business owners who say it's taking up too much parking space and hurting their bottom line. I find these particular bike lanes very dangerous. Robert owns and runs Skindarian Apothecary on Broadway Street. He says the bike lanes installed in front of his store has been a nightmare for his disabled customers who are afraid to get out, and he has seen his business drop by 20 percent. They've been in place now for maybe about six weeks, and in that time they have made it uh, access to the pharmacy virtually impossible for the handicapped, for the elderly. We think we've made it much easier for the bicyclists to drive through the city, but to be very honest, there's been some concerns with the business community. So we are now evaluating them to see should we can we tweak them here it is. City officials plan to hold several meetings this winter to discuss ways to make improvements with future projects. In Cambridge, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.